So, uh, happy Friday morning, everybody. Oh, as you can hear, I got Mr. Winston in here with me. We just got out of the vet. It's almost 10 o'clock. No, it's almost 11 o'clock. My little time in here. Yeah, it's almost 11 o'clock. My car timer, I never can figure out how to set it, so I'm like, you have to add an hour and five minutes. But anyway, um... Okay, a lot of things been happening the last couple of days. So we brought Mr. Winston in at the beginning of the week because um, he's been looking real scrawny and everything with the intention of bringing him in the house permanently. Uh, Augie came back last night, so I will get y'all some footage of Augie after I get back. Dad was asleep when I left the house this morning. This vet's a lot farther out, but this vet, uh, he's the one who... Um, kind of funds the uh, planned pet hood that we were able to get a lot of our feral cats fixed at so I want to give him the business um, so I, it's worth it to me to drive out and do that always be aware like when you're choosing a place don't just look for price and everything look and see where it's coming from look and see what things they do and he was he's such a good vet like he's so good uh, because um, y'all know Mr. Winston we've been with me for a while he's always wheezing his eyes are always swollen he's been getting real uh, bad lately and he's just gotten so skinny so I went ahead and brought him in uh, we had brought him here last fall got an antibiotic um, give it to him and he got a little bit better but he got worse so I brought him back because that was kind of we're trying to eliminate what it was they did a blood test today and unfortunately he has FIV which is a fe uh, feline it's, it's kind of like HIV but for cats so it's really um yeah and it explains a lot of the things that's been happening while he's having these chronic issues because he doesn't really have an immune system and he's been getting really skinny because he has ulcers all over his mouth so that's why he's been able to eat wet food he can't eat dry food and we only put dry food out for the outdoor cats so he's getting skinnier and skinnier so the plan is um, uh, to get him back here which I got to figure out how that's gonna happen because I can only go to the vet on Saturdays because I work all throughout the week they're open the same hours that I am <laughs> you know that where I work is open so but the doctor's not going to be there in two weeks so I gotta try to figure out they said he can be dropped off I'm, I'm probably gonna have to uh, I don't know maybe I can pay dad to take him up here that would be great um, but they're gonna see I have a bunch of pain medicine to put him on to help with those ulcers so he can eat and um, antibiotic and uh, he got dewormed and some other things so we just have to see how it goes if he's significantly improved in a couple weeks um, we'll make a plan from there like a long-term plan if he's still getting worse um, I fear that um, he's probably not ever going to get better so we'll, we'll hit that hurdle when we get there but it's good to know uh, what has been going on with him it sucks that it's one of the worst things that he can have but you know at least you know so and I know if any other cats come into the yard with these symptoms we can see but it's his none of the other cats in the yard have this he could have gotten bitten by a cat that had this virus and stuff so I have to go home I actually have to call dad before I head out because I have about a 40 minute drive ahead of me um, and get him to switch the food bowls out and stuff because while it's very unlikely that they my cats like fluff and them can contract the disease from you know like saliva like sharing water bowls and stuff he said better safe than sorry so Winston will have to have his own food um, and we have to watch him see outside if a cat goes up and bites him and gets his blood in his mouth then yeah so that's something um, you know they can't groom each other stuff like that so I, it's just we just have to take it a day at a time I have a lot of meds I'm gonna have to give him um, after work and you know we're just gonna do as best as we can by mr. sweet little mr. Winston here but um, I'm gonna get to it I'm gonna call my dad see if he can take up those food bowls before I get home and um, 
yeah that's just to give you all an update on Winston um, if you see a cat and they kind of have these chronic issues like I showed y'all that Winston has I mean just chronic um, like upper respiratory infection ulcers things like that please go take them to the vet and get them to do that blood test I think it's about $40 um, you know go do that <laughs> um, but anyway I'm gonna get to get in I'm gonna get to drive in and um, I guess I will see y'all when I get home and we will uh, see what that grouchy old mr. Augie is up to <laughs> I'll see y'all later oh isn't that the most pitiful sound we had Stan I just pulled in the dr oh he's breaking my heart I just pulled in the driveway and um, fattest groundhog you ever seen is in our yard but um I just wanted to say too you know vet stuff isn't cheap and where I have you know where I take care of so many animals and usually when one of these vet pills come I'm stressing out how am I going to pay for this and everything because I mean Winston's bill today was like hundred and seventy eight dollars and something I mean, it wasn't as high as I was expecting, but, you know, I just want to say, I showed y'all when I make my budget videos, every single month, I put $20 in an envelope that goes toward pet care. Uh, this month, since I knew I was going to be taking Winston, I put $40 in there, and I've been doing that every single month for the last couple years, anywhere from 10 I think the most I put in is 50 just depending on how my budget is. And I pulled out this envelope, and the vet girl, like, at the counter probably thought I was insane. And I just counted the cash out. I found a nickel in my... That is a really big bug, but I found a nickel in my purse. And, yeah, I think that was the change. It was like a nickel or 11 cents, whatever the change was. And I just paid it, and I didn't have to worry about it because that money has already been taken out of, like, my account. And everything that is money that is just put back... And if something happens to one of the cats like this or you know the dog or if one of my friends can't afford to get a new cat fixed or something boom there's the money <laughs> and I don't have to worry about it it's there and it's ready to go so that is my tip for anybody that has a bunch of cats and the, or dogs or any kind of animal um, it's you hope nothing will happen but eventually something will happen I mean something you know they're gonna get some weird I don't know <laughs> with as many animals as I had you know you might have an Augie show up and y'all remember he had to get hernia surgery and all this stuff and then which I need to get him microchipped that is the next thing his little grumpy butt is getting microchipped he still had his collar on but I just wanted to say that it's so nice doing that budget and everything and I'm not stressed going oh I had this almost $180 vet bill what am I going to do how am I going to get these bills paid I wasn't accounting for that it was already there and I mean anybody in this world can put back you know $10 a month $20 a month that's nothing that's nothing like don't eat out once <laughs> <laughs> $20 don't eat out twice boom there's your money so that's just something I wanted to say too and this is something I can concentrate on Winston and I don't have any stress about that so that is the big thing so anything like that that you have you know eventual expenses on like I don't know um, you know I ship out the uh, Christmas ornaments around Christmas and everything so about in June here probably next month I'm gonna start putting back like $20 a month for that and it was so good last year and I was able to get them out on time because I had the money the year before that I mean I spent a lot of money shipping those um, ornaments out and paying for the supplies and everything which I'm happy to do that's something I do of my own choice just to thank people and last, you know, the year before that, I was scrambling. Y'all might remember, I didn't get them out till March or April because I did not already have that money accounted for. And then last year, I did that. So that's just something um, to throw out there. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get in the house and um, get poor Mr. Winston in. Bless his heart. He's had his leg stuck with blood tests, had a thermometer put up his butt. I mean, he is ready to rest. <laughs> so, I'll see y'all later. So, look who's back, everybody. The happiest, most pleasant kitty in the world. Ah, what?